us this morning, we have Leslie and Scorgy, right? We got it right there. Uh, you're a financial guru. You started investing at the age of 10. You've been on Oprah. Oh, oh, Oprah, not, it's Oprah. <laughs> Oprah is the, the new evolution of Oprah, by the way. Um, <laughs> so, you know, you really focus on women, and, yes. and you have all throughout your career, mm -hmm. you have a new book that comes out and is out right now. Uh, the name of that book again? Well Healed. Well Healed. So what are some things that you really want to educate women about out there? I think it's really important for women, especially young women, to realize that uh, taking their finances seriously is important. Right now in society, we take an approach where we think it's funny to be a shopaholic and to spend, 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 and it's reaffirmed by a lot of marketing messages. Mm -hmm. So young ladies end up outspending, in fact, their male counterparts. But when you compound this issue with the fact that still in 2014 they're making less than their male counterparts for right. doing the same type of work and then you may put in uh, you know taking parental leave at some point in time they're often the segment that just doesn't seem to get ahead financially and then retirement hits and they're often very underprepared mm -hmm. so for women it's important to kind of start early and start thinking about um, you know managing your finances wisely early on now what we want yeah, to do but you don't though, want them to go without right you still right, want them to look good and, yeah and so you, you say the way to do that is mm -hmm. to be a smart shopper, really, be frugal. That's right, and the whole frugality movement is really popular right now. Now, frugal means stretching your dollars and cents as far as they, as far as they can go mm -hmm. without being a cheapskate. You don't right. want to be the one that shows up at the dinner party without the bottle of wine and you know takes from their friends. That's absolutely not cool. You want to look good, too. You do want to look good. You want to, you want to play the part a little bit, but you also want to be savvy with how your dollars are being spent. Yeah, and in terms of investment, you say to start investing early, and they should invest even more than men. Absolutely, and again, that goes back to that income gap that we see, and the fact that women continue to spend at a faster and larger rate than their male counterparts. So to counter that, you basically want to get started as early as possible and invest more. Now, some say, you know, 10% of your income is just enough, but often what's turning out to be the magic number now is anywhere from 15 to 20%. Well, how on earth are you gonna do that? And the only way that you're gonna do that is if you pay really close attention to how you're spending. So back to frugality a little bit. And you can really pay close attention now with all the mobile apps in terms yeah. of- Yeah. Yeah, and, and, but investing even for a male, even, it, it's intimidating. There's so many products out there. Yes. Uh, you hear about all the stories of people who have won and lost, like where do you start? Well, I think it starts with getting a little bit of good advice, but good advice is sometimes hard to come by. Yeah. Um, so I recommend uh, choosing some, some resources that you're comfortable with, so perhaps um, you know, some random Google searches can be good, but start with your local bank. That's often really mm -hmm. helpful. Get some referrals from friends and family and go and interview some advisors. It never hurts to get information before you make any investment decisions. But when I started investing, I really started uh, by actually like reading the papers on what's happening, what's trending. You and read Warren Buffett, all his yeah. books. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I did dig into those books and it's just out of personal interest. I grew up in a home where we really didn't have very much and I wanted a different financial outcome for my future. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And are you finding women today want to be more empowered? They sure do. Uh, they absolutely do because this gives them greater options and flexibility in life. And with those options, they can create whatever future they want, whether it's going back to school, having a family, pursuing their career. But it's all about generating as many options as you can. And being financially savvy is really the cornerstone of that. Of course. And to educate yourself, you can get your new book, which is available, of course, right now. Yeah. For more information, you can go on our website as well as uh, Leslie. .com. So once again, uh, be financially fit out there and be smart. Now